Hello. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. This is Etho. Oh. oh, come on. So, pretty sure that's actually a bug, that noise. Because I just had it play three times in a row. I don't think I'm the only one. <laughs> like, three times in a row. Like, it finished playing, then it happened again, finished playing, happened again, three times within, like, 20, 30 seconds. And it just happened again. <laughs> so... Either there's something really weird going on with my game, and I'm the only one affected, but I think everybody's being affected by that in the snapshots. That noise I'm talking about, of course. Uh, so anyway, enough blabbing. Uh, last time we worked on this boat target game. I wanted to get that done today so we could try it out, but this boat target game... Um... Yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, you could have just needed four more blocks. Oh, there goes that arrow. <laughs> Almost cleared the whole thing with that. Uh, yeah, so it turns out I went into creative for a moment to see how difficult it is to actually hit a falling boat uh, with a bow and arrow. And it's pretty difficult, but not too difficult. I think it was actually about right. It falls pretty quickly. Um, the big problem though... Quiet, cheap. Let's say you got a boat over there. Um, so to hit it, you would shoot about there, right? But there's a bug in the game. <laughs> I don't know if it's a snapshot bug I, or what, but uh, the boat is visually below where it appears to be as it's falling. So in order to hit a boat that appears to be at that height, I would have to shoot like over here, <laughs> um, is what I found out. So that's not going to work out too well. Um, yeah. As it's falling only, not when it's stationary, of course. So instead, we're going to do a chicken target shooting game. I still want to do a target game. So I started setting that up at the man cave. Let's go check it out. Okay, so I decided to put it over in this area where we have the vine farm. Uh, I want to expand out further this way uh, as, as we build more things. Well, this is one of the places I want to build. Uh, so I don't have a lot set up to it and we won't be able to do much. We're going to do other things today, but I just want to show you what I did. Uh, we're going to have dispensers. These will be full of chicken eggs. And I got an egg delivery system up here. We got hoppers. And then a chain of hoppers going this way. And there's going to be a big buffer of chicken eggs in these chests. And <laughs> these are our chickens. So the reason I didn't want to do a chicken target game is because it's going to take forever to get the eggs to actually try this out. Um, so that's why we can't do it today. <laughs> it's going to take hours and hours to get enough eggs. Um, but those chickens will grow up and they'll start laying eggs. Uh, chickens are pretty easy to shoot as they're falling, actually. So um, we don't need a lot of vertical height, I don't think. And I did it in this area where I can actually back up quite a bit because they're going to be falling along that wall there. Um, so to make it more difficult... Uh, there's not going to be much vertical height to shoot them in, and also I can back up quite a ways if I wanted it to be more difficult to hit them with the bow and arrow. Uh, so that'll be good. And, you know, I actually do need chi a chicken farm. I don't have one in my world yet, so uh, I think we're going to also get some way of harvesting chickens <laughs> out of this too. Maybe we'll build something over here uh, later to get uh, feathers is what I mostly need from those guys. So, yep, that's what we got so far. So what I want to do next, everyone, we're going to expand part of the man cave here. We're going to build, build, we're going to create, <laughs> we're going to destroy a room over here. Uh, a long time ago, I talked about an idea I had of storing my valuable stuff inside of a, a cave instead of like a chest, like... I don't know if many of you have played Donkey Kong Country. It's 
it's an older game now. <laughs> 1996, I believe. Um, at the very first level of that game, though, uh, there's this cave you can go into, and it's like this giant cave where they keep all their golden bananas. They have a pile of them, of their hundred golden bananas, and it's it's been stolen, and you get it back later in the game. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I basically want to make a pile of my my ores here, like a pile of emeralds and iron and gold and diamonds and all that stuff, instead of keeping it in this chest. So that you can visually see how much stuff I got <laughs> playing my world here. Um, so yeah, we're, we're basically just making a giant cave. Where is that? Man, I'm lost in my own place here. Over here! Um, and I scouted around a bit. This is the slime farm over here, apparently. <laughs> As usual, there is so much junk around underground. Uh, I have to be very careful where I dig out. So we can't go that way. We're going to have to make uh, the entrance to it, like uh, something like this. Going this way. And then we hit something else here. This is from the mushroom farm. <laughs> so we'll try and make it come up two or three blocks so we avoid that. We might accidentally destroy it here though. I'm not too sure what's going to happen. Hopefully <laughs> things go okay though. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, that did not come as far down as I thought it would. So I guess that's good. Alright, so we might need a few more TNT here. But we got our cave, our room. <laughs> Did We didn't destroy anything, I am surprised. There's a cave here. Oh, okay, this is by the river. This got closed off, I guess. Yeah, this, I think this dead ends, if I remember right. Yeah, so I must have blocked that off before. Now we've opened up to it again. Um, yeah, that's cool. We didn't, <laughs> we didn't destroy anything I built, so that's good. Uh, I guess we gotta go down, like, three or four more blocks here yet, though. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break here, because our nose picker <laughs> is about to break. It's about to pick its last, if we don't do something. So, I wanted to see diamonds, three diamonds, five levels doesn't quite repair it all the way or if we do it this way brand new pick it is four levels and it repairs it all the way so that's the way to go okay <laughs> don't panic everybody I just realized that was the last of my TNT I am running low it seems uh, I've looked both bases over here and at the man cave I might have some hidden somewhere but I don't know where uh, but thankfully, I do have some gunpowder left, so we can make some more. But this is it. This is the last of my gunpowder, too, what's over here. So, going to have to start collecting more. I haven't uh, spent as much time at the Stronghold base as I used to, so I think that's why I'm running low. Let's see, how much can we make? One, two, three, four. We can make three stacks, so that, that should last for quite a while. No, oh, there we go. So I noticed something weird. In the latest snapshot, it seems silverfish are spawning in my silverfish farm, even when the lights are on. And they... Where did he go? Is he down here? They can't swim, it seems. <laughs> they just drown in water. And they can fight the current. You see that guy over there? Uh huh, so there's been some changes with mob behavior. I noticed creepers were acting weird too earlier. So who knows what's about to come with with the next update with the AI changes. Yeah, here's another example. So I think uh they're trying to make creepers and skeletons and that more intelligent like the zombies are. Um so currently, <laughs> it seems they're really dumb, though. But they're probably... It's, it's probably a work in progress. This creeper... 
Hello, guy. I am surrounded by TNT. This is your perfect opportunity to come kill me. <laughs> Unless he is more intelligent and he just doesn't want to take damage. Oh. Hey, guy. And I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, he didn't even set them off. Come on, guy. Oh, I should have uh, thought about leaving. Ah. How difficult is it to make TNT to go off? That's gonna fly at me. Oh, you're not. Beautiful. Alright. Uh, we still need a little bit more. We're almost there, though. Let's see. Just get a few more down. I'll dig the rest out by hand. Run! <laughs> oh, that hurt. Oh, there's one right by me. Oh, man, if that went off, this one here. <laughs> that could have been bad. That would have made me sad. Still launches you forward. Sometimes. Very interesting. Lots of floaty arrows, too, lately. Alright, so we're getting close to the mushroom room down there. I'm going to dig the rest out, I believe. And I'm just outside of my haste beacon, unfortunately. Where is that? Okay, we got it over here. I have a... I don't think I said this on video, but I set up a haste beacon now, too. So I got speed 2 and haste 2 in in this area. But we need more beacons very badly. Because I would love... <laughs> I would love to have haste over here, for example. Oh, yeah. I love that sound. Mm, I've changed my mind. Let's do more. <laughs> Why not? We have three stacks. Well, well we had. <laughs> um, hey, guy. Whee! <laughs> Thanks for helping. Uh, yeah, I could, I could probably do it. Love that sound. Okay, I don't think there's anything back there. Oh, snap. That was close. Did that hit the wiring? It might have hit the wiring. I can't remember what that looked like. Did not go as far down as I wanted either. Darn it. Okay. That's that's not bad, though. Alright. So we got a nice size room blown out here. I, I like it. Might need to be bigger. We will see how this goes. Uh, we got to do a lot of polishing of the walls and, and such. Uh, but I figure we should start decorating it. Try to figure out <laughs> what style we want to go with for this room. Uh, unfortunately, I checked around. The whole thing is desert biome. Oh, such a tragedy. So that means if we did a grass and like tree theme like I have in the rest of the cave, it's going to be yellow. <laughs> and I don't like yellow grass. Vines will be yellow. Uh, which that really stinks. I wish it was forest biome. I really like grass and forest biome. Maybe even more than jungle. To some extent, it's more... It goes better with brown, I find, than the jungle grass. Jungle grass is more green, though. So on its own, it looks better for sure. But uh, anyway, so I thought... I got so much coal. I don't... I don't know if I really want to make a coal pile, <laughs> but maybe we will do the floor out of coal and see what that looks like. So let's, let's get it going. It'll, that will make the room very dark, and that will make the, the gems in that really stand out if we do it this way. Um, the other idea is, like, if we want to do paths, we could use slime blocks to get green in here. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. How does this look over glowstone? That might be cool. Uh, and I don't want to put everything on one big pile. I think we'll split it up. The gold should probably go in the middle, though. Like, we'll have a big pile of gold in the middle. Because that's what I'm going to get the most of, I suspect. Um, but then we'll hide, like, some up there. 
Uh, there's a cave over there. We'll hide some. You know, kind of spread it out. Try to make it look cool. Okay. Let's get this going. So if we do want a path, actually, <laughs> I guess it would have to start about here. Because um, it comes up. We're going to have stairs. I should be careful not to lose this coal, though. It is valuable to some extent. I wonder how annoying it would be to have a slime path. <laughs> hmm. Like, maybe I go around the gold pile in the middle. It looks pretty weird. I'm not sure about this. I've never, like, built with slime blocks before. <laughs> it's so bouncy. I'm not sure if we sh we should do that. Maybe we should uh, use something else for the floor and we'll decorate walls with it or something instead. Because that could get annoying to walk on. Alright, anyway. Let's, uh, let's get the coal going. There's that sound again. It's about the hundredth time I've heard it today. <laughs> Um, okay, so we got the coal, and I'm, I'm going to get my gold and just see what it looks like. So I'm guessing I want the pile, like, right here to be the center. So I'm going to go get the gold. We'll put it down. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think about using coal for the floor. <laughs> if you like it, we may even use it for the walls and the ceiling. I have... I have enough. We can do it if we want. I have probably a double chest of coal blocks at least. Because I've always used uh, blaze rods pretty much for my smelting. I've, I haven't used my coal for anything really. Except torches. Um, if, we, if we do make the whole room black, we will have glowstone piles uh, for lighting. And like we'll probably have it like running down the walls. We might try to do a stalagmite and stalactite thing with like slime blocks or other other ores, so it won't be totally black everywhere, but it would just be like the background color, if if we do coal. <laughs> um, otherwise, I'll just keep my coal in a chest because uh, I don't want to make a pile out of it. Um, but I got the gold. Let's start our gold pile. See what it looks like. Try to do it pretty random. As I as I make a perfect square, <laughs> um, maybe have a few piles in places. I don't know. Can't really block the door. I should I should be careful about that. Uh, but yeah, let's try and make a big pile in the middle. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're gonna get lots more in the future. Yeah. Alright, so let's try to even it out a bit. Gotta really watch for creepers. I tried to light this room up. Um, I would be sad if this got blown up. I don't really care about the coal or the diamonds or anything, but gold and iron is kind of a big deal. Um, lapis, I have lots of lapis. I'm considering not putting it in here, but we will see. We probably should actually, because it's it's sort of valuable. Man, <laughs> it's gonna fill up the room pretty quick here, just with what I had. Not even counting what I'm gonna get in the future. All right, pretty good looking pile. What's that look like so far? That's not bad. It's a little too vertical. I think it should be wider at the base. But it's fine. Alright. <laughs> so that's our gold pile. And as I use it up, I'll take away from the pile. If I get more, I'll add to it, sort of thing. Um, let's take a look again. Oh yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay then, so... You know all that stuff I said about the coal, how we might do it and, and do this and do that? Forget about it. <laughs> We're not doing the coal. I spent some time in that room and I got sick of it very quick. And I checked the video and it looked really dark. 
so I don't think long term it's a good idea. Uh, so I decided just to try the grass, and it's it's not that bad actually. Um, so let's go check it out. I did a an arch over here now. Um, this tree used to be over here, <laughs> the, the the logs, and I moved them over, make it look like an offset tree, just so we can walk by easier. Um, got some stairs going on here, and flower pots and stuff. I don't have uh, any of the new flowers really. I I guess I never picked those up, so. I'm gonna have to head back to that flower forest sometime to to get more, uh, and then we got rid of the coal here. We got grass. It's it's not too bad. Kind of. I'm glad I chose gold for the middle because <laughs> it matches the grass color the closest. Um, and if we do tall grass and other things, it'll it'll probably look better too. Uh, but then I also started working on these upper layers because I want to hide stuff up up high as well, not just all in one big pile, like I said. So let's head on up. I don't have a, a ladder or anything yet. I, just, I didn't get that far. But if we go up, we got like a railing. You can look down at the gold pile. Very cool. Um, whoop, don't fall down. <laughs> I, I chiseled the cave over here, which is pretty cool, I think. So you still have the stone that goes out. Oops. And then you can sneak in. I'll I'll probably chisel out a bit more and hide some stuff over there or something. Uh, but if we go further, we got some wood stairs here, diagonal ones. Comes up to this part. We got another uh, fence area you can look down at. Just wanted to get more layers in this place. Uh, just the way the TNT blew up, blew up it uh, it like made all these caves up higher. So hey, <laughs> let's take advantage of that. Uh, makes it makes the area cooler, I think. And then I uh, polished up this area here pretty good, I think. Uh, got some stairs, and we got like two two loot stashes over here. So maybe we will go get our emeralds and hide them over there. Okay, so we got 23 of these dirty emeralds. This is from the old villager trading when they would accept unlimited paper. Um, <laughs> villager trading though is still pretty uh, easy to get emeralds with so I don't know. <laughs> I thought they would eventually they would change it so emeralds would be pretty tough to get but uh, yeah, that never happened. <laughs> so all emeralds are kinda dirty. Uh, but we were just gonna use these for building only. That's our dirty emerald pile. Let's get our iron here. This will probably go away pretty quick. And this is from one of my beacons, actually. I replaced with gold. All right, cool. Oops. <laughs> two more, two more blocks. Will they fit? Yes, they do. There. So that's our. Dirty emeralds and our iron stash. We got our gold pile. Uh, so there's still diamonds. Lapis, maybe. <laughs> I have so much lapis, though, is the thing. And I have incredible amounts of coal. What else is there? Is, am I missing one? I feel like there's another resource in this game. I can't think of it, though. Mm, slime, I guess, and glowstone. Glowstone we'll use for lighting, possibly. Mm, what else? Is there anything else? I guess we could check. <laughs> Let's go check. Just in case I'm forgetting something. But, uh... Yeah, I got a lot of lapis. <laughs> Way too much lapis. Let's see. Oh, quartz, maybe. Hmm. I do have a lot of quartz. How would I store that, though? It would be a block of quartz, maybe? Um, so, we did iron, we did gold, uh, lapis. This isn't all my lapis, by the way. I have about double that, at least, <laughs> at my other base. Uh, diamonds. There's redstone. I don't know if I want to stash that. Huh. Anyway. So we, we got a good start to that. Uh, there's also another path I want to make to go to that area. So we kind of found out that this connects somewhat. So we'll probably 
do something like this and have a walkway going going over here come out in this spot because uh, I like to have at least two ways of getting to each area in my base it makes it feel very uh, spider webby I guess <laughs> I don't know how to describe it like every area has pretty much two or three or four ways of getting to it But anyway, guys, I think we should probably uh, wrap up the episode. We'll do the comment, though, of course, for today. Uh, picked out one which says, Hey, Etho, what type of player would you consider yourself to be when playing UHC? Ultra Hardcore. Do you consider yourself to be a PvP player, a team player, or maybe prefer playing solo, etc.? Um, hmm. I find I do better... When I play solo, like I tend to um, win more battles, um, but I prefer, I like for <laughs> for fun wise, entertainment wise, uh, I think team games are better. I enjoy them more. Uh, solo is more serious, I find. I just want to check the chicken farm. Looks like they all grew up. How many eggs do we have? Hoppers are not full. Let's see, I think it would be at this end. Um, that looks like we got a few. Let's see. PvP player. I haven't died to mobs once yet in UHC. Like, in all our seasons, I've always died to another player, which I guess that makes me a PvP player. <laughs> um, I definitely would much rather die to a player than to a mob getting the better of me. Uh, it's, there, it's usually more action oriented if you die to uh, a player so I think that's kind of cool uh, team player I try to be a team player I might not always communicate the best uh, especially in a tense situation but I, I try um, but yeah I think I do prefer playing the team games uh, just because they're more fun but I do enjoy the solo ones just because it's more of a serious <laughs> serious match as well I don't know it's good to have a balance uh, between the, the team games and the solo ones I find uh, but anyway that is going to be all for today everyone I hope you enjoyed today's episode and our our little project here we got quite a bit done on it actually we only have maybe a little bit more to do in this room try to polish it up a bit more but yeah <laughs> hopefully the gold pile grows but as it, as this grows, I'm I'm going to be taking away it to uh, set up beacons in different places. That's another thing I could put in this room actually is my beacons. I think I got four spares right now that aren't being used, and I got like eight wither skulls uh, saved up currently as well. So could get quite a few beacons. But I uh, hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye bye.